welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for supporting us and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they happen but if you are new to this channel please support us by subscribing my brothers and my sisters the Fulani Nigerian government can no longer wait for the completion of their Fulanization agenda you know, and the Fulani Nigerian government have approved and instructed all the federal ministries in Nigeria, the parastatals, all government agencies, security agencies, to start building mocks and centers for foreign Fulani terrorist Janjaweed. Even in their conquered land, so any land that they have taken, they must build their center and mocks for them. According to Nigerian government, it is to cater for their needs. According to the Director of Information, Ministry of Agriculture, Theodore Ogazi Echi, he said that they were instructed by the Nigerian presidency to build a 30 million Naira Friday mocks for the terrorist foreign Fulani headsmen in Ngaramna, Srogmafa local government area of Boronu state. These are land that they have stolen and forcibly taken from, you know, from the Kanuri farmers. They took it from them forcefully with terrorism and violence and now they are using taxpayers money to pay for the construction of their friday mocks imagine nigerians are suffering and they are busy building mocks for foreign terrorist fulanis the fulani nigerian presidency approved the money to build the mocks for the foreign terrorist fulanis who are not even paying tax or contributing a cobble to their host community ports. The Nigerian Fulani presidency is taking money that Biafrans and Yorubas are paying through tax collection. You know, they tax Biafrans and Yorubas heavily to fund their foreign Fulani brothers and sisters. Nigeria paid over 234 billion Naira taxes monthly on petroleum, that is on petrol that they buy from the filling station. They pay taxes. Lagos State alone contributes over 500 billion to the Federation account on a monthly basis. And Biafrance contributes over 2 billion naira into Nigerian Federation account on a monthly basis. And yet, the Janjaweed Fulanis, who are not contributing anything but causing pains and terrorism in Nigeria, are being rewarded they are being rewarded They're, you know but biafrans and yorubas and other indigenous nigerian tribes who are contributing to the federation accounts are rewarded with genocide proposed increase in petroleum price and electricity rates they want to increase pump price petrol pump price and electricity rate in june they are planning that this is the more reason why Biafra must be allowed to go because its toxic marriage with Nigeria is stagnating. It's stagnating Biafra's growth due to the Janjaweed Fulani misplaced priorities and lack of foresight. After coming under fire, the Fulani Nigerian Senate President Ahmed Lawal, who have been against the ban of open grazing and restructuring, you know, resolution proposed by the Southern Governors. Lawan, a product of a quota system, is now deceiving Nigerians that if they are dissatisfied with the fraudulent 1999 Nigerian Constitution, they should present their observations and proportions 
at a two-day public hearing next week as the Nigerian Senate moves to amend the fraudulent 1999 Nigerian Constitution. Biafrans are not interested in any constitutional change or restructuring because referendum is the only true way to freedom. The constitutional amendment is just a fruitless exercise that the Fulani Janjaweed will only use to buy time and deceive the whole world. As a follow-up to my yesterday's video on how to deactivate your phone from the Janjaweed Fulani tracking, now the terrorist minister of communication, Issa Petami, is now requesting for the International Mobile Equipment Identity Number, IMEI number, of Biafrans and other Nigerians' phone. They want those number. So as to bypass the tracking deactivation. Now they know people are deactivating their tracking, uh, you know, software that they have programmed into the NIN registration. So now they want the IMEI number. You know, we know that anybody who has your IMEI number can remotely render your phone useless. They can track it or use it for malicious purpose. And that is what the Nigerian government wants to do. They want to use those phones for malicious purpose. They want to track everybody down. They want to track every Biafran down so that when they call for a protest, when they call to chase the Janjaweed away, they will quickly, you know, render such individuals' phone useless. Or they'll send a different message, you know, to make people believe that the message that was sent initially was wrong, that the new message is the right one. You know, the full and Janja with they think they are wise. They are not wise. Biafrans must be very careful. The Nigerian government want to violate your privacy. They want to violate our privacy. And all they are trying to achieve is to completely control Biafrans and stop our freedom fight and struggle. They want to stop it because it is affecting the Fulani Janjaweed. It is, it is affecting them and they want to stop it. They want to make sure they stop it. Imagine when it is about Biafra. The Fulani Nigerian Inspector General of Police, Umar Baba, gave a shoot on site order to the Janjaweed Nigerian Police. You know, but when an alert came that Boko Haram terrorists and ISWEP terrorists plans to attack Abuja FCT and Plateau States, the Fulani Nigerian IG Inspector General of Police asked the Commissioner of Police responsible for Federal Capital Territory and Plateau State to be on alert. Inspector General of Police of Nigeria, Usman Baba, a Fulani. You know, he has asked the Commissioner of Police to review their security architecture and beef up security around government facilities because Boko Haram and ISWEP are their boys. You know, they are their boys. They are the ones sending them. They want to hand over Abuja FCT to them. But if it is Biafra, he directs his commissioner of police to disobey human rights, to disobey human rights, and shoot all Biafrans on the streets. That is what he tells them. The Fulani Nigerian government is using the Central Bank of Nigeria to intimidate Southern governors. They are asking them to start the repayment of their loan, which wasn't a problem prior to the open grazing ban. But the Fulani Nigerian government is using a Biafran, Godwin Emefiele, the governor of Central Bank, 
to do their dirty job for them. According to the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Ekiti State Governor, Dr. Kayo De Fayemi, you know, he insisted that the governors want to repay, uh, you know, they don't, the repayment that is due in May should be deferred. But in Mifili, the central bank governor insisted that the state should begin to repay their loan without future delay. That is the Fulani fighting back. My brothers and my sisters, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please watch out for the next video and bye-bye for now.